Hello everyone, Noah here, and I am now continuing Supernatural Sunday for Marvel's Netflix. And for this there, as the first one we talked about, Ghost Rider, who is, fans really want to see in the Netflix, let's go for the next one fans want to see in Netflix, Blade. Blade has appeared in a number of Marvel properties, including his own movies as well. And it's now time to see what can he bring to the MCU in the form of the Netflix format. And for this new Blade, I want to see John Boyega to play him. John Boyega has a number of qualities that I agree would make a good Blade. In Attack of the Block, he used a sword. Uh, maybe he was already training. Okay, but from the different stuff we've seen him in, he has good range. So he should be able to capture a Blade per really good. Boye, and now I know some people might go, he's a big movie star, would he agree to do a Netflix series? Yes, he would. In fact, he has, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, I think it's Imperial something. Can't remember it off the top of my head. I should have had a tab open. But anyways, moving on, there's one more thing in it. He is also a Marvel fan, and he was originally trying to be Black Panther. He didn't get it, but what do you all think? Do you think Boyega would in fact make a good Blade here? Now, what is important as well is a character's supporting characters. So, from this main character, let's move on to the next one. I hope I'm getting this name right. Jamal Vardy. He's Blade's foster father. He is also his vampire hunting mentor. And for him, I would think it'd be great in order to get this new blade, the old blade, Wesley Snipes. Uh, Wesley Snipes has shown that he is interested in playing blade again. But however, I feel since we're on to a new era, we need a new blade. But him appearing in this would be awesome. If you can't get him on as a full-on supporting character, then give him a cameo that at least for another supporting character i want to see spitfire spitfire is a vampire as well herself and she has super speed she's more in time usually not for the supernatural but more with the uk heroes which blade is as well but but also with the invaders here is an interesting thing about this character she's the daughter of james morigarni falseworth or union jack in it but as we already seen here, he was the British soldier part of Captain America's Highland Commandos. So having this connection to the MCU would be great. There. Uh, the last supporting character for this air, I'm going with Jack Russell, Werewolf by Night. And for him, uh, I'm getting this name right, Mikael Hunsman. Sorry if I got that wrong, but yeah, I think he would do a good choice. I've seen some of the other stuff that he's in. Like, well, I've seen the roles, and it would be an interesting thing. Now, we got enough supporting characters. We need a villain, and for this there, I'm going with Baron Blood. I do not think they would go with that costume, though. But for him, it would be really good because he is actually... His brother, making him her uncle. Yeah, no, I'm not making that up as some twist, but he is actually that there. So this would be a good character to pick. And to play him, Mark Strong. Okay, so we have now characters. We're talking about first see a story. Well, simple enough. Blade is hunting vampires, and then he interrogates them. He finds out there's actually... What he thought was independence were a network, and now he wants to first liberate the well, his home, the UK branch. And the UK branch is being headed by Baron Blood. Meanwhile, Baron Blood is in confrontation with her. Oh, I completely forgot to mention, he's the one who get, makes her a vampire. Uh, Baron Blood. Both of them are an argument on who takes over the Falseworth name. Or, I mean, yeah, Falseworth name. And both of them know they can't go actively at each other, but he, 
Baron Blood keeps on getting more and more support. So Spitfire needs to find her own way of taking him down. Actually, because she knows he's evil. And for Werewolf by Night, his own thing is he's coming over here to find a way to cure or at least control his condition. And he ends up running. He's going after Jamal in order because he's his veteran. He might know something. So Jamal agrees to look for something if he agrees to work with Blade. And Blade, in turn, while investigating Baron Blood, finds out about Spitfire. So the four heroes then eventually agree to come together in order to take on Baron Blood once and for all. Assault this vampire compound, scatter the UK branch, and find out who the hell is in charge of this ol'. And yeah, that's the story. Pretty basic, no great twist, just a bunch of heroes coming together to take on a villain. Maybe that's what we need and just some good vampire action. Alright then, uh, everyone let me know what did you think about this is this is something you would like to see. If you did like the ideas in this video, share the video to get word out there. If there's something you don't like or don't understand, please feel free to comment below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see I will get a next video out Sunday. Since we've already talked about actually the two Netflix ones that people have been talking about, we're actually moving into a couple that aren't actually talked about as much. So look at next week when I will talk about the next member for that I want to see in the Midnight Suns.